Hello and welcome and thank you for starting to watch this video. So today is a kind of a unexpected video. I was uh, planning to do some other things which I did not finish yet. So as a kind of a godsend, these news arrived. Base group replaced by mandatory base package manual intervention needed. So if you are on the Arch Linux mailing list, we were, which you should be on the Arch Linux announce mailing list, at least I think if you are using Arch Linux because these kind of things, you won't always, you know, check the Arch Linux homepage. I think before you update, so you can forget that sometimes. So it's better to be on the mailing list. So you get these news in your inbox and you can act accordingly. So for example, in this case, they advise the users to install the base package, which is uh, mandatory from now on. And so they suggest using this command. Uh, I think you should first update your system with just pacman syu and then do this. <coughs> so if anything collides with anything, which might collide, you know, if you had an update a long time ago, maybe you should first update your system before doing this. And this will install the new base package, which is, you can see here in the Arch Linux packages database, base 2-1 is what it's called now. So it is now the minimal package set to define a basic Arch Linux installation. It is what it is. And uh, well, it contains these utilities and you can see it only contains Linux as an optional for your uh, Linux experience, I guess. And there are already questions in the Arch Linux forums about uh, how to install Arch Linux because, uh, well, a lot of things have been removed. There is another one. The packstrap doesn't include key packages. So this is a very recent change. So of course, uh, some people who were installing Arch Linux previously in a VM and now they tried installing it in a real machine, then <laughs> suddenly the installation guide changed. So here the install the essential packages part will tell you that use packstrap script to install base package and the kernel like this backstrap slash mnt if you have mounted your drive to slash mnt of course and base and linux because you know previously previously the base package included the linux kernel and so if you did not want to use the default arch linux uh, linux kernel but you wanted to use the lts kernel or linux hardened or whatever you could remove the linux kernel and then install the one that you want but in this case, it will just come without a kernel from the base package. So you add whatever kernel uh, fits your needs in this uh, in this instance. Of course, the software necessary for networking, firmware files for devices, or even text editors will not be included. So uh, other resource that uh, I was directed to, well, not me, but someone who was asking it on the forum, so I was directed to the talk page. So in the wiki, if you're not familiar, there is this discussion page you can click on to read about the discussions about that page, which have not made it to the wiki page yet. So same as in Wikipedia or basically um, any other wiki systems. So here, we can see that the base package was replaced, da 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 da, backstrap suggested packages. So Linux firmware has been made optional earlier this week in the Linux kernel, so Linux firmware might be something you want to add. And um, there is some discussion about making it explicitly installed or whatever. And the uh, base does not contain a text editor. So, well, you need to install it by yourself. This is all the packages that have been removed. So that these were in the base group before and are not in the base group anymore. So you might want to install 
you know, Linux, Linux firmware, man DB, man pages, or nano for text editing, or VI even for text editing, which is not included. So yeah, you should, if you are going to install Arch Linux anew, this is a very big news for you because it, need, it means that none of the previous installation instructions that you will find on YouTube will work anymore. So even I made a, a walkthrough of that <laughs> installation process. Don't watch that video anymore. That's uh, outdated from now on. And so you must be careful about um, this kind of things to install on your system if you think you need them. And uh, yeah, read not just the installation guide this time, but please, please also go to the talk page and check out these Packstrap suggested packages part and installation stuff like that because you might find something new and after all these things get cleared up and maybe the wiki page gets uh, you know a little more organized after this change I will do a walkthrough of the installation process for you with me not installing the system just explaining what's going on so yeah, this is it. This is the Arch News for this week, for this time. Uh, so get yourself on the mailing list for Arch Announce so you can get to know all these crucial information that are shared there and on the homepage too. And I will uh, see you in the next video, which will be hopefully something of more of a substance than this one. Bye-bye!